follow And fight for like tomorrow We don't even need to rest Cause the best is just the best Imagine all our passions, man Happy to the merely fans Never to a focus Go for go, what has the plan, plan I see that right Yeah, yeah, we will fight This one thing that I have Might be my next surprise with Linux and advice on how to get in on the accomplishments. They talk about what they work in and how they got there, networking within the Linux community, and even sensitive topics like gender preference in the tech industry. Useless but fun. Aside from professional tutorials and interviews, the Linux Foundation's YouTube channel has some random but cute short clips and commercials about Linux mostly about the concept and about the platform's purported superiority. You will find them if you poke around on the channel. Do you know about other useful Linux certification resources? Or are you already a Linux certified small business pro?
In today's competitive IT job market, how do you stand out? How can you prove your experience and knowledge using the most current technologies? Microsoft certification is one of the best ways to qualify yourself for that ideal IT job and a successful career. Hiring managers worldwide know that when they see Microsoft certification on a resume, they're looking at someone who can do the job. Certifications are available for a variety of Microsoft technologies and for all skill levels, including students, office workers, IT pros, developers, senior IT managers, and system architects. So whether you follow the business professional, IT professional, or developer pathway, each Microsoft certification affirms your up-to-date skills on the very latest technology and provides you with a pathway that leads to your ultimate career goals. So no matter where you want to take your career, Microsoft Certification is there to support you every step of the way. Assalamualaikum, a very good morning colleague. Welcome to SCDC Info Tele News for Monday, October the 8th, 2012. I am Haji Borhan from Corporate Relations Division. The headlines for today are our ISO 9001-2008 internal quality audit has begun. 20 officers from two organizations will visit SCDC this Wednesday. PADAS will organize a group blood donation on Thursday. Now the news in full. Our ISO 9001-2008 Quality Management System Internal Quality Audit has begun. Opening meeting of the Internal Quality Auditors was held last Friday. The meeting was chaired by Inche Edwin Abid, being the management representative of our ISO 9001-2008 Quality Management System. Attending the meeting, were the directors and acting directors who will be the auditees and the appointed auditors. Altogether, there are 21 auditors who have been divided into seven teams. The meeting was brief on the roles and conduct of auditors and auditees. The closing meeting will be held on 6 November this year at 2.30 p.m. also at Dewan Kenyala. All directors, acting directors, and staff responsible for the ISO procedures are to take note and to give their full cooperation to the appointed internal quality auditors. News on 5S visit to SEDC. Staff of the Ministry of Housing and Ministry of Rural Development will make a study visit on our 5S implementation on next Wednesday, 10 October. The visitors will be welcomed by our Director of Innovation and Quality Division, Inche Edwin Abid, and they will be briefed on our 5S implementation program by Juan Judith Angela Skinner, the Deputy Director of Innovation and Quality 
a division. This will be followed by the question and answers before the visitors adjourn for photo session and entertain for light refreshment while watching our InfoTele news. The visitors will then be brought to all flows to see the implementation of our 5S program such as the 5S corners, filing system, and walking zones. The 5S group leaders and facilitators are to stand by at their respective walking zone that morning. SCDC Sport and Recreational Club Padas will organize another group blood donation for staff of SCDC and staff of its subsidiary companies this Thursday, October 11. This will be the third time Padas holds its blood donation campaign this year. As usual, blood donation will be conducted at Dewan Kenyalang and will commence at 8.30 am. All staff are encouraged to donate their blood. Donors who have not registered may just come and register on the spot. We take a short break. Astaghfirullahaladzim, Azim, mimpi ngeri Puan Ong mengamuk bunuh semua orang termasuk saya. Nasib baik mimpi. <gasps> Puan Ong, apa awak nak buat dengan pisau tu? Saya mau masak. Awak mau makan tak? Oh, okey. Tak, tak apa, tak apa. Terima kasih. Tak payah. Apa hal? Uh, minta maaf Puan Ong, saya makan makanan halal saja. Saya ma masak ayam. Bukan babi. Babi, 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 babi. Uh, 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 ya, yeah, saya tahu. Uh, tapi tak semestinya masakan yang tak ada babi itu halal. Biar saya terangkan. Bagi ni. Alamak. Uh, mari sini. Daging ayam pun boleh menjadi haram kalau tidak disembelih mengikut syariah Islam. Ya? Yeah? Terima kasih. adalah cara-cara penyembelihan yang dilarang di dalam Islam kerana ia bukan sahaja membunuh binatang secara sia-sia malah menyeksa pula tu jadi macam mana nak menyembelih binatang secara halal ha puan ong mari ikut saya dengar dan lihat baiklah pertama haiwan yang hendak disembelih mestilah bernyawa dan sihat kedua Pisau yang hendak digunakan mestilah tajam kerana ia membolehkan si penyembelih memotong dalam-dalam leher ayam itu. Tadi kalau dia dah potong dalam-dalam, tekanan darah tak sempat sampai ke otak ayam itu. Lalu ayam itu tidak akan merasa sakit. Tapi semua ini mestilah dilakukan dengan nama Allah. Chef Raymond, ambil ayam ni dan masak cepat. Daging yang halal adalah bagus untuk semua orang. Bukan sahaja untuk orang Islam. Tetapi orang Melayu, orang Cina, orang India dan lain-lain. Satu daging, satu Malaysia.
Welcome back. Corporate Relation Division is again appealing for used clothes from members of staff. The used clothes, school shoes, and bags will be donated to the needy, such as the victims of fires and other natural disasters. Used items may be deposited at the red bin, which is located at the entrance of seventh floor. Staff cooperation and generosity is very much appreciated. Our fifth special chairman's committee meeting scheduled to be held on 12 October has been forwarded to 11 October Thursday. The meeting will be held at Birat Nuri and will commence at 8.30 am. The agenda of the meeting is presentation by Information and Communication Technology Division or ICT on website, Facebook, and YouTube. For this meeting, ICT Division is requested to forward their presentation materials to the Secretariat before the 10th October. On under the news from ICT Division, ICT Division is conducting its annual PC housekeeping and preventive maintenance activities. The help desk personnel has started their rounds since Thursday last week and it will end this Friday. Members of staff are to give their full support and cooperation by one being present during the activity as the custodian of the ICT equipment. Two, allowing the help desk personnel to perform the activity on their ICT equipment. Three, making their ICT equipment, for example, their notebook available to allow the activity to be performed. And under the news from the ICT division, ICT division is upgrading the current SCDC wireless network Wi-Fi with the new access point. The new access point is accessible from 6 to 11 flows. The ID and password are as follows. Access point SEDC, capital S E D N C. The password the small letter PPES with 082416777. The password, I repeat, is PPES 082416777. The new Wi-Fi is using single access point name, SSID, thus eliminating multiple access point IDs and passwords. Users would also be available to roam between flows without having to contact each other, each individual access point. Staff are to be informed that the current multiple access point will be decommissioned on 15 October 2012. Therefore, all users are required to switch to the new access point immediately. Should there be any inquiries, staff are to contact Encik Muhammad Najib Jaman or Encik Nicholas Jeffrey at extension 105 and 108 respectively. Sport News. SCDC organized a bowling competition for the heads of government department yesterday at Riverside Super Bowl. The competition was held in conjunction with SCDC's 40th anniversary. The competition started at 2 p.m and was officiated by our State Secretary Yang Muhammad Tan Sri Dato Amar Haji Muhammad Moshidi bin Haji Abdul Ghani. The closing ceremony was held at the 18th floor Riverside Majestic Hotel. The State Secretary Tan Sri Dato Amar Haji Muhammad Moshidi Haji Abdul Ghani thanked SCDC for organizing the bowling tournament. This is According to him, this is another game for the civil servant other than golf. It should be included as 
another avenue for civil servant to interact and to mingle with each other to foster good rapport among themselves. Our YB Dato Chairman Dato Haji Talib Zul Philip also spoke at the closing. He said that SADC will again organize golf and bowling competition next year. Among the result yesterday are as follows. The most colorful player goes to Dato Yambo Bahagia, Dato Jao Sa Mion, and the most hot walking player goes to Yambo Bahagia Enche Pita Shawal, the controller of NREB. And on the competition itself, first place goes to Yambo Bahagia Dato Haji Sarudu Haji Hoklai. And second goes to Inche Yambagia Inche Ahmad Johani Ben Muhammad Ali. And third goes to Yang Babahagia Datu Ik Pahon Jovik. Fourth goes to our Yang Bahoma Tan Sri Datu Amar Haji Muhammad Mosidi Haji Abdul Ghani. Other members who participated in the competition were Inche Sajali Kipli, the director of Lenin Survey, our Yamba Bahagia General Manager, Tuan Haji Sudiman Haji Aini, Yamba Bahagia Dato Rashid Han, Yamba Bahagia Inche Abdullah Adam, the director of education, Inche Michael Roni, Yamba Bahagia Professor Dato Dr. Jamil Hamali, the director of UITM. Yang Babahagia Enci Rasad Saleh, the director of information department. Yang Babahagia Dr. Razali Abun. And Yang Babahagia Enci Ipoi Datan, the director of museum. And Yang Babahagia Enci Suami Haji Taib. And last but not least, Enci Udin Ben Bujang. Birthday greetings. Our birthday wishes today go to Inche Awang Ahmad Ben Pangiran Haji Rashid and Puan Saliha Benti Mone. H A P P Y H A P P Y H A P P Y Happy Happy Birthday. Inche Awang Ahmad is a Pambantu Tabe grade and 26 attached with Credit Management Division. He has been with the SDC family since December 1983. Zaleha is a Pambantu Tabe grade and 17 attached with the Human Resource and General Administration Division. She has been with the SDC family since November 1988. Many happy returns of the day to you both and hope you have a great day. We have come to the end of our InfoTele news for today. We leave you now with a thought for the day by Dale Kennedy who said, quote, The person who gets the farthest is generally the one who is willing to do and dare. The sure thing both never gets far from shore. Unquote. Until then, wishing everyone a pleasant and a productive week ahead. Salam sejahtera, salam satu Malaysia, and bye for now. Ana, ana, bibi antau di majnun. Ana, antau, ana, udin majnun. Sebuah nama kata orang. Oh.
di nama kampungan Jadi lagu enak juga didengar Kalau enggak percaya simak dengan seksama Udin yang pertama namanya Awaludin Udin yang suka di kamar namanya Kamarudin Udin yang hidup di jalanan namanya Jalaludin Udin yang suka bertanya namanya Soaludin Udin, Udin, namamu norak tapi terkenal Udin, Udin, walaupun norak banyak yang suka 